So I want to give a little context for people that aren't super familiar with the music industry and the recording industry. Electric Lady is probably one of the most iconic studios in the city, in New York City. Maybe there's a handful of others within the city, but like Electric Lady, I mean, if you you can share some of the names that have performed there, but I mean, one of the first ones that, that you know, pop off the head is, I mean, believe, I think Jimi Hendrix recorded there in the 60s and stuff, right? Like he, well, he, he founded the studio. That's okay. Yeah, studio. yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. Yeah. You know, so, uh, yeah. but it's it's an iconic, iconic studio. So, like, it's not like you got into some little mom and pop, you know, indie record label studio. You got into one of the biggest studios in the city. Absolutely. <laughs> which was, which was very, like, daunting and very, like, crazy. But <laughs> so, I, I would I love to there. hear that and experience. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, for sure. So, so I got in and, you know, I was, I was an intern doing, you know, paying my dues, like everyone, like doing coffee runs and, you know, tidying up the studios or whatever. And then Electric Lady has like a pretty big, or at least when I was there, I don't know how it is now, but they had like a pretty big like roster of interns. So it would be like, we're probably like 15 interns and it would be like three, three interns per shift. And it would be like a day shift and a night shift. Define day so, and night. Like how late does the night shift go? <laughs> well, the day shift would run from like 9 a.m. to like 6 p.m. <laughs> and the night shift would run from 6 p.m. to closing time, which is open-ended, right? Yeah, sure. So a lot of the times you're, you would see that they crew come in the next day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. Were you on the night shift or the, or the uh, day shift, or is it rotating? It was rotating, so you would usually get like a couple a couple different shifts, like, you know, two, two day shifts and then two night shifts a week. I was usually doing like four days a week. But... I was young and I was very excited and I was hungry and I had stamina. So it was all good. I would <laughs> now in my thirties, I would not survive those shifts, but um, it was all good. So yeah, you know, I was like doing like those, those kind of like, you know, little jobs. And then the thing with, with a studio like that is that even if you, if, even if you are one of like the best interns, it really comes down to timing because a lot of the times they might like you and you and you might be doing a great job, but there's just no open positions and there's no opportunity to get hired. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm from Peru. So I, I came here with a student visa when I and then after you finish your studies, you get like a like a one year like grace period to like try to see to like get some. Um, you know, it's for like getting experience, but obviously if you get hired, you can get like a work visa. So I was like, I have a year to try to make it or I'm just going back home. Yeah. So I, I had that pressure on me that maybe like an American would not have, you know? Yeah. So I did my three months and I did them the best I could. And I, I was, you know, you can get the feeling because I was... I was always hanging with staff and I knew they liked me sure. and they would like, they would hand pick me for like specific jobs that maybe like the other interns wouldn't have, or they would like get me into like a room to like help the assistant engineer, like set something up, stuff like that. So when my three, when my three month period came to an end, I knew I had something, I had built something there, but there were no openings. Sure. So I was like, all right, I gotta like accept reality. So I got to start trying to apply into other studios. Now that I maybe have this experience, I can like try to like get into another for one. Sure, for sure. But I was like, I can either like just stop my internship at, at the three month mark because that's usually like the cycle and go out and try to get, you know, a different internship or I can see if they can let me stay on a bit longer so I can keep getting some experience. And then on my days off, I'll, I'll keep, you know, going around and dropping off resumes or whatever. So they were cool with me just staying. And that was really like decisive because a month after a, a, a position opened up and I got hired. So, yeah. That's timing. amazing, man. Yeah. That's it's all about timing.